Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've done a couple of videos on reverse engraving. And the old way I used to do it would be to use a smart fill tool, and then you have to go and fill in all these spots. And in this particular word, it's not that bad. So that's going to engrave, and if we look at this with a yellow box, the outside of the letters are going to engrave, but the insides are not. So it uh, kind of makes the letters pop out. I'm actually going to grab them all and right-click no outline. So it's going to look like that. The yellow is, is going to be the color of the wood or tile or whatever you're doing, but the black, it will engrave away everything. That particular word didn't have that many uh, places to fill in, but there's another way to do it. I just kind of started thinking about it today. If you wanted to do this same thing, I'm going to actually take this box and nudge it out of the way for just a second, and I'm going to fill it with black. Then I'm going to nudge it back. I'm going to select everything, and I'm going to go right here to front minus back. It did it all. That's reverse engraving a lot quicker. If you had to do a lot of letters that, you know, I should have used lowercase e's and, you know, uh, it would have looked, it would have had a lot more to fill in. So you could do back minus front and it takes those letters away. And you can see it's all kind of welded together. Pretty cool, pretty fast. Uh, I like it. Let me, uh, let's do this. Uh, let's go to text change case, change them all to lowercase, and look how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots we'd have to reverse engrave or fill it in. But if we just do this and go front minus back, you've got that done and the letters are actually transparent. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.